Hey guys, what's up? I am doing a thrift haul video today and I am using my iPhone camera so let me know if you guys like that. So if you guys didn't know, I do thrifting for two reasons. One for myself and two to resell. Um, so I thrift as a part-time reseller and so far I've been really loving that. It kind of gets me out of the house and <laughs> yeah, I mean it gets me out of the house and um, makes me not be a hermit so much and also I'm doing something that I really love to do which is to share fashion with everyone. Um, so I have a whole video that I could do on why I resell but this is not that video so I'm just going to get into what you guys are here for and that is the thrift haul. So the very first thing that I wanted to mention is this sweater. So actually I got this uh, two thrift shopping trips ago. Um, this is from Iron Fist. I got this at Goodwill and it was in the men's section and it's like It's an oversized sweater, so it's really cool um, It is a men's size small and I've been wanting this sweater for a long time But it was always really expensive and now I finally have it. Yay! <laughs> and uh, it's only almost summer, so of course. All right, so I realized that I was shooting uh, with a crooked camera, so hopefully that fixes it. I don't have a monitor. Um, again, this is my iPhone camera, so hopefully that works. So let's go ahead and get on to what else I got today. Um, so, not today, but the same trip that I got this at, I picked up these boots. Now, I was torn whether I was going to keep these or not. Um, I have them listed, but I may keep them still. I'm not sure. It just depends on how quickly they sell. They're from the brand Muck Look which I had never heard of, but apparently it's like um, winter footwear type brand. They do boots and like um, fleece lined slippers and stuff. So they're really cute though. They reminded me of like cyber goth style. So I decided to pick those up. Still, like I said, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them, um, but they are listed. So if you're interested, go ahead and check them out on my Poshmark or my Depop. Um, and we might be able to make a deal for them. Another pair of boots that I picked up are these um, Steve Madden boots. And I really like these boots. Um, these are the gray version with the blue on the back. You see a lot of the brown with the red, but I don't see these as often. Um, so I really liked those. Now this, I also don't know if I wanna sell or not. I don't have this listed yet, um, but it's this really pretty royal blue dress. And it's that 90s style with the really nice like rhinestone buttons and the back though is beautiful I will probably list this to sell because I just I know I'm not gonna wear it because it is blue um, it's kind of like a purplish blue it's a really pretty color but I just know myself and I know I wear mostly black and red um, with a little bit of lavender sprinkled in so next I'm going to go through um, some things that I got at a different shop. This is like my secret thrift store. That is now, now my new secret weapon. Um, I, I got some beautiful, beautiful things there. Um, I'm going to do a vintage dress haul soon where I show you all of the really amazing vintage dresses that I've been picking up at estate sales, thrift shops, and this shop. So I'm gonna just show you right now the things that do not fall into that category. Um, this first thing is this spider jersey and it's this beautiful lilac color and it's a sportswear type brand it's got this nice little reflective spider on the shoulder um this is a size extra large and it's really really pretty very lightweight great for summer um and this I picked up for, I don't know how much she ended up charging me for this, like about 50 or $2. Um, and it also says spider on the back there. Um, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to sell this for yet. Another thing I got at that shop are these really awesome Cole Haan shoes. They look like they've barely been worn. There's a little scuff on the toe, but I'm pretty sure that can buff out right here. Um, either way, they are still in amazing condition. Um, I picked these up for $2. Bottoms don't even look like they've been worn that much. Um, really great condition, and you don't see this color very often, so I see these selling pretty fast. Um, I think I'm going to price them at 
maybe about 40 and see what happens. All of the stitching is still good. Um, doesn't look like the leather has been stretched out. Still great condition, guys. So I think for two bucks, um, I could not pick those up. I couldn't believe it, actually, when I looked on the inside and saw that they were Cole Haan shoes. Okay, next I'm going to go to um, Salvation Army because that's another one that I've not ever been to, really. And I found some really good deals. So today, I don't know if they do this a lot um, because, like I said, I've never been there. Um, but I found these. And all their shoes today were 50 cents each. So I picked these up for 50 cents, guys. And they look like they've barely been worn. Um, this is going to clean up fine, I think. Um, there's, a, there's a number. I'll have to look them up later. I haven't even looked them up yet. But they were just a really pretty color. It had the strap, the Velcro strap across. And like a little crown or something right there. So very pretty. I like the splatter here. So hopefully those bring me some decent money because I have to pay back for this big shopping trip. Some of this stuff I bought to resell and some of it I bought um, for myself or Scarlett. Um, this I bought to resell. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret 90. Uh, I know not everybody sells 90s very well, but for me they sell pretty quickly if they're good condition and, and or good brand especially if they're vintage and in good condition. Now this one I believe to be 80s just because of the colors and this um, and the way that it's made. Uh, so I think that this should bring me about 25 and this I paid $1.50 which is still 50 cents cheaper than Goodwill. Um, next I got some things for Scarlet um, at the Salvation Army so I'll show you guys that before I move on. And my total at Salvation Army was 30 bucks. I also bought a huge easel, which I'm not going to show you guys, but it's like a magnetic easel and <laughs> these little numbers and dinosaurs were on it and Scarlett freaking fell in love with it. So had to pick that up for her and it was $8.99. So that was a good chunk of the bill itself. So next I got her this little lavender top and it's got like little ruched sleeves. I thought it was really cute. No, she does not wear black all of the time. <laughs> she uh, she loves pink and red, so I buy her a lot of that, but I love lavender as well, so I buy her that too. Um, so this is a Mickey Mouse sweater. Um, this was $1.50 as well, with the little ears. Don't worry, not all of this stuff is kids' clothes. I actually have some more adult clothes from Salvation Army. I'm just kind of pulling it out as it... Um, as I see them in the bag. Um, so this is another little jacket for Scarlett. This was $2.50 because it was a heavier coat. I also picked her up some little shoes because like I said, shoes were 50 cents each. These look like they had not even been worn. So they're little slip-ons. Um, they're size seven, so it's a size up from what she wears now, but I'd rather buy a size up because she's gonna need them soon. Okay, so that was all of the kids stuff, I think. Nope, one more thing. $1.50 pair of leggings and it's kind of like a similar like paint splatter <laughs> as the shoes have so that's pretty funny uh, so yeah that is all of the kids clothes and I'm gonna show you my new pen which hopefully you can see I'm not sure how that's gonna focus um, but this is a little pumpkin a little jack-o-lantern with a little black cat inside and this is gonna go great on my bag um, I showed you my pen bag and my what I got for my birthday video so this is going to go great on that, so this is for me. Um, I bought a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. This may or may not be for resale. Um, I think Damien might like it, so I bought it for him to try. And if he does not like it, then I will resell it. Um, this was $2.99. This one is a The North Face. Um, this is an extra large, and it's a denim shirt. It is short sleeved, of course, um, which is great for this time of year. So there's that. And that should do pretty well. I've heard North Face sells pretty well, but I've never found it at a price that I liked. Um, but this was $2.99, so I thought I'd give it a shot and see how well it sells for me. Okay, and the last thing that I got at the Salvation Army was 
this beautiful jacket that I am really not sure if I want to pass on or not. I know I should because I think resale on it is really great, <laughs> but I love it so much. This is a velvet button up jacket. And do you see how beautiful this is? Looks like it's not even been worn. It's from JS Collections. I looked them up and um, Nordstrom sells this brand. So does Lord & Taylor. Um, I've seen this same one on eBay for $99. I don't know what it's sold for, but there's one listed for that. Um, I kind of only briefly looked just because I wasn't familiar with the brand. Um, but it is my size, so that makes it even worse. <laughs> and it is made in Canada, which you don't see very often. Um, it's got a Nehru collar, which is the ones that kind of just come up like that. So this is gorgeous. I will see if I post it or not. It is floor length, so it's like a trench coat style, um, which I flip and love. So we will see what happens with that. Um, I paid $2.99. I paid $2.99 for this jacket, and I could potentially sell it for around $50 to $100, which is amazing um, if I don't end up keeping it because it is definitely my style. So we will see what happens with that. Now we're going to move on to Goodwill. And so Goodwill has been pretty good to me lately. Um, I bought several things that I didn't show you guys. Um, I was going to do a live thrift haul, but I started thinking I really don't have very many people on this channel and I didn't think that anybody was going to watch it. So I kind of chickened out last minute, but if you're interested in a live thrift haul, let me know down below and I'll see if I can set that up for you guys. If you are interested in it, please let me know what time of day and I am on Eastern time. So let me know that. Either way, um, Goodwill has been very good to me. So I am going to show you what I got there. Um, so the first thing that I got was this Harley Davidson, and I got this today. This Harley Davidson jacket. And it's got studding on the sleeves. It is cropped. And it says Harley Davidson on the back. And the front. So it's really, really nice, really nice jacket. Um, I did up pay up for this. Um, I paid $10.50, I believe. So there's that. Also, I got a little mini Dooney and Burke purse recently. Um, it is genuine. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Um, it's this cute little canvas bag. There's a little bit of discoloration, but I actually kind of tried to get it out, and I think most of it did come out, because um, I, I really actually don't see any. There's barely one on that BD right there. But I'm sure you could probably get it out if you really wanted to work at it. Anyway, I picked this up for 10 bucks. I'm selling it for 30 because it is virtually unused, it looks like. Um... It's got like a little bit, one spot in there on the inside. That is it. Tiny little spot, which I'm sure could probably be gotten out if you have the time and wanted to spend that time on that. Another Duty and Burke I got that is very tempting to want to keep as well. It's a red plaid Duty and Burke bag. This one, again, it I don't see any signs of use on this bag at all, really. In fact, the inside is completely clean. It's completely clean. Um, I picked this one up for 20, um, and I think I have it listed for around 80. The price on these two are negotiable, especially if you want to bundle with anything else. Another thing I picked up last time was this animal hat from the Muppets. It is completely clean, looks totally unused. Um, so I am selling this for $10 is all. I picked this up for $2.99, so really easy flip on that, hopefully. Um, I mean, I've, I'm selling it pretty cheap compared to a lot of other Muppet stuff. This dress is a vintage um, see-through, completely see-through, so you will have to wear something under it. It's a size 16, um, and it's an 80s corset dress, corset in the back. The buttons are beautiful on this. Um, so you could wear this either oversized if you're smaller um, or just wear something under it. Um, like I said, you can wear this oversized with like a bandeau and some shorts 
or a skirt or something. Like, there's a million ways you can wear this. Uh, so I really, really like this piece. Um, and it looks in pretty much perfect condition. I don't see any wear on it at all. Um, this one is really cute. This is a lavender color with black. And I would say it's probably about a little, probably midi, maybe shin length. Um, but it's flocked. Um, the flowers are flocked and it's really, really nice. Um, this is from La Belle. Made in the USA and it is a size 5. And so this is beautiful. Again, this looks like it's never been worn. So I have two more things to show you. One is from Goodwill and one is from my secret, my secret weapon thrift shop. Um, that I'm going to call that now. Um, so I'll show you that one first, and that is this um, Alfani Petite Vegan Leather Jacket. And it looks like it's never been worn. It's like this really pretty gunmetal chrome color. It's like a dark smoky gray or something. Um, and it is kind of like a metallic color as well. Um, it is a little cropped, um, or it would be cropped, um, or you could wear it as petite. It would probably be regular sized on you. Um, but it's really really pretty. I thought about keeping this uh, but I decided not to um, so I am going to list this to sell um, probably really cheap. I think maybe like 20-25 bucks. So there is that. This next piece I have saved the best for last guys. This is a beautiful dress. This is from um, the Betty Page Boutique I think. Um, it's sold on Pinup Girl Clothing and this is a very hard to find dress. The only one that I found on the site was a sample that they had left and it was in a size extra small. Um, so this dress I've seen sell for around $80 on eBay very recently um, as well as um, some sold for $50 or $60. I paid $6 for this dress. Um, this is from the brand Tatiana and like I said it's sold at the Betty Page Boutique this is called the Aurora dress. And I was instantly drawn to it because of the fabric. Um, it's a blue overlay on top of pink satin. And then it has kind of like this crinoline material underneath. So it has a beautiful silhouette. And the one that sold for 60 did not have the belt with it. This one does include the belt. Um, the matching belt with the fabric overlay on top. So this is amazing and it is a size large otherwise I might be keeping this one for myself. I don't wear pink very often but for like a photo shoot or something it might be really pretty. Um, it's brand new guys. Um, I already have somebody who this is on hold for um, but she's got to check her measurements. So that's it guys. That is what I have picked up from my last three weekends of thrifting. Um, all this stuff should be going up for sale very soon if it's not already. Some things that I have put up from the last couple weeks I've already sold, so I haven't shown you those things. Um, and some of them are in storage, <laughs> so um, they're listed, but they are in storage at the moment. So if you want to see everything that I'm selling, please go on to Depop, Poshmark, or eBay. If you have any questions for me, if you want me to talk more about why I resell and um, what I look for, let me know and I can do that for you. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.